Good afternoon, and welcome to WDCB's Blues Piano Showcase, broadcast live from Piano Forte Studios in Chicago. I'm Leslie Harris, and our celebration of Blues Fest Week continues today as we spend an hour with pianist and organist Pete Benson. We'll get to the music in just a moment. First, I'd like to mention that we are broadcasting from the studios at Piano Forte Chicago, which is dedicated to helping people love the piano. More information is available at pianofortechicago.com. A longtime Chicago resident, Pete Benson is well known among jazz fans for his organ work. Besides his own organ trio, he's performed and recorded with guitarists George Freeman, Mike Alamana, and Kyle Ashey, with the quartet Sabretooth, and with the soul, jazz, and funk group The Heavy Sounds. But when he moved to Chicago in 1999, one of the first groups he worked with regularly was the Mighty Blue Kings, whose alumni include Chris Foreman. And since then, Pete has worked with many artists in blues and jazz worlds, including saxophonist Sam Burkhart, guitarist Joel Patterson, and with vocalist Oscar Wilson, who will be joining Pete today for a few tunes as well. It is a rare treat to hear him play solo piano. So, without further ado, let's put our hands together for Pete Benson, live from Piano Forte and WDCB.
We are enjoying a performance by Pete Benson here at Piano Forte Chicago. I'm Leslie Karras, and you're listening to a live blues and jazz piano showcase here on 90.9 FM WDCB as we gear up for the Chicago Blues Festival, which starts uh, later on tonight and continues this weekend at Millennium Park. We're going to return to the music in a few minutes, but uh, first, Pete, wow, what a stylistic palette. <laughs> Warming up with a little bebop there and stride piano and soul jazz, and what a wonderful blend. Tell us about what we heard. Well, let's see. <laughs> thank you so much. Sure. Um, the first tune I played was called uh, Relaxing at Camarillo by Charlie Parker. And uh, the second tune was uh, made famous by Count Basie. And it's uh, called Blue and Sentimental. Mm-hmm. And uh, the third tune I did was uh, Bobby Timmons' tune called This Here. Yeah, I can really hear Bobby coming through on that. That call and response was just fantastic. Um, and so tell us a little bit about your choice of repertoire. How Are these tunes that you just happen to love? Or as a pianist, what draws you to them? Yes, um, I, I love the tunes and the, they... They're soulful, you know, they're played by soulful pianists, mm-hmm. um, sometimes organists, you know, both which I love. And um, yeah, it, it just, uh, they have a, a feel good, uh, a good feeling to them. So yeah. that's why I chose them. Well, you know, as you were playing, I, I noticed how you were switching uh, fingering on some of the keys, and I thought to myself, well, true for a pianist, but definitely for an organist. Some of just some of the things that you were doing to kind of keep the keep the notes sustained and just some of those oh, techniques sure. as yeah. a, that you use all the time as an organist but also as a pianist too yeah some of the techniques are different you know just with the organ if you hold down a note it stays you know the piano it dies away so yeah you, yeah you exactly be mindful of those things too. yeah i saw that you're like yeah. ah i can use that that sustain pedal this is great right. <laughs> exactly well, tell us a little bit about uh, the kind of music that you uh, listened to growing up and what you first started playing when you uh, started uh, piano. Well, I mean, I just grew up, um, I grew up in Sycamore, Illinois, and uh-huh. I, um, I grew up just, you know, taking piano lessons as a kid, played classical piano. Mm-hmm. I started to get into jazz a little bit in high school, and um, I, went to, I went to school at Northern Illinois in DeKalb uh, when, I, when I started out college, and I really got into to jazz then. What kind uh, of jazz were you listening to at that point? Uh, I was listening you to, uh, you know, a lot of uh, Bud Powell and Red Garland, mm-hmm. uh, Wynton Kelly. You know, I was, I was listening to a lot of the great pianists then when I started out, and I started getting into the, some of the organists too, like Jimmy Smith and Larry Young and Jimmy McGriff. Um, I got into Jimmy McGriff a little bit later when I, when I uh, moved to town here and uh, started studying a little bit with Chris Foreman. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> If you study with Chris Foreman, you're also studying Jimmy McGriff for That's sure. That's right. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, so yes, I, did, I, I listened to Horse Silver a lot. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Sonny Clark is one of my favorites, and also I mean, like non-pianists, I, I love uh, the way like Jackie McLean plays blues. Mm-hmm. Alto uh, saxophonist. Yes, uh-huh. alto saxophonist. Yes. So I just you know I, I listen to a lot of di- different things. A lot of you know Ray Charles. Oh yeah. I love Ray Charles. Uh, uh, organist and pianist Milt Buckner. Mm-hmm. Uh, you mm-hmm. know. James P. Johnson, I'm a big fan of his. Yeah, so we're going back, you know, back quite a ways with that. Yeah, uh, James P. Yeah. So I was hearing Stride for sure in um, some of your playing, and um, particularly in Blue and Shadow Metal, I was hearing a lot of it, and I was kind of curious uh, for James P. What do you what do you like about uh, what he does? Well, I mean, I I love his touch, and he has such a mm. such a wonderful sound, and uh, he wrote a lot of music. And, mm-hmm. he, and he was on the, just an incredible amount of recordings, you know, st- starting back from the 20s, uh, just an incredible amount of recordings. And I really like... Um, I think he worked with Bessie Smith, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he, he did, and that's some of my favorite stuff uh, ah. from the late 20s. Bessie Smith and uh, another uh, Clara Smith, mm-hmm. um, some other vocalists like that. I really love his accompaniment with a vocalist. That's some of my favorite stuff. Yeah, you know, it's funny when you mentioned Clara Smith. I think she might have been one of the first people to record "You Don't Know My Mind," which is just an amazing tune. Oh, okay. Um, and if the pianists and organists have played that. It's great. Um, but well, I'm curious to know what you got. Uh, what you got on your playlist there? Well, I was thinking of doing something that uh, actually, since you mentioned it, that. Uh, uh, Bessie Smith did with James P. Johnson uh-huh. and this one's called Don't Cry Baby alright sounds good Pete Benson here at Piano Forte Chicago
Pete Benson. Pete Benson here at Piano Forte Chicago. I'm Leslie Karras, and we are exploring the art of blues piano and jazz piano this hour on 90.9 FM WDCB as we get ready for the Chicago Blues Festival in Millennium Park and tonight at Romova Theater. Uh, well, I wonder once again if you could run through the tunes we just heard, some of which are familiar, and maybe a few we don't know. Uh, yes, uh, that was, uh, what did I do? Don't Cry Baby was the, the, the one I did. And then um, Walking the Blues by Otis Spann. That, that was the, that was was the one I did afterwards. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Slow Blues. And then um, that last one was a tune by Miles Davis called Veered Blues. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not weird, veered. Veered, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you mentioned Otis Spann, and um, we've been... Um, getting very excited at WDCB about the centennial celebration that's coming up uh, in Millennium Park to celebrate Otis Spann. And I believe we have someone here today who's going to help us celebrate Otis Spann as well, Mr. Oscar Wilson, who's going to be performing. I'm wondering if we can lure him on stage. There, uh, here he comes. All right. <laughs> And if I'm correct, um, Pete, you have uh, recorded uh, with Oscar Wilson. Yes, I am on his CD. Yeah. One Room Blues? One Room Blues. Yes. All right. It was all done in one room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Oscar Wilson. Uh, yeah. 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 I've always wanted the chance to play with just a piano player. Now I'm nervous. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do it. You didn't love me no more, babe.
Your letter said you was doing all right. But then it read, please, can I come back home? Yes, your letter said you were doing okay, baby. But then it read, please, can I come back home? Thank you. and Oscar Wilson and I'm sure hoping we're going to hear at least one more. Yeah. 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 One more. yeah. This is one of my favorites. I've been a 
all across the country and I play in every town cause I'm trying to find my baby but no one has seen her around now you know which way I'm headed if my baby can be found I spoke to the river and the river spoke back to me and he said you look so lonely you look full of me Wilson and Pete Benson here at Piano Forte. And just to uh, remind listeners that Oscar Wilson uh, is going to be performing uh, with the Cashbox Kings. He is the lead vocalist for that group, and uh, he will be performing Sunday night with that group. Uh, at, as part of the Chicago Blues Festival at the J. Pritzker Pavilion. And also, um, Oscar is going to be performing with the Castbox Kings uh, tonight and tomorrow, excuse me, tomorrow and Saturday. Um, tonight is with a Rob Stone Harmonica Blowout. Oh, okay, that's right, Harmonica Blowout at, uh, at Reggie's. But uh, anyway, you're also going to be, Oscar, going to be performing, as I mentioned earlier, with uh, the as part of the Otis Span uh, Centennial Celebration uh, also on uh, Sunday evening, so that's going to be um, just a fantastic night of music at the Chicago Blues Festival. And Pete, uh, not to be outdone, <laughs> you got your own gigs as well. You're, I believe, going to be at Andy's tonight. Yes, I'm going to be at Andy's tonight with Sabretooth, uh, starting at 6 o'clock, uh, sets at 6, 8.15, and then there's a jam session at 10 o'clock. And then tomorrow, there's a performance uh, in uh, Willie White Park. Tell us about that one. Uh, that's going to be uh, my organ trio with... 
Kyle Ashey on guitar and Mike Schlick on drums. And it is, uh, I believe we start at 7 o'clock in Willie White Park in Rogers Park. And I believe that is a free performance. It's a free performance. Performance. All right. And excellent. it's, uh, I believe it's 1610 West Howard Street. Okay, excellent. Well, we've got some uh, time for some more music. So, uh, what have you got for us? Let's see. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do a tune by uh, one of my favorite organists, actually, Charles Erland. Excellent. And this one's called yeah. Here Comes Charlie. All right. <laughs>
All right, Pete, let's do one more. You've been enjoying a performance by Pete Benson with special guest Oscar Wilson here on 90.9 FM WDCB. This afternoon's broadcast was presented in partnership with Piano Forte Chicago, serving Chicagoland and helping people love the piano for more than 15 years. Information at pianofortechicago.com. Thanks to Thomas Zoles, Rachel Fraser, and the entire crew at Piano Forte for their help with this broadcast. Thanks also to Clarice Cavoris, Dan Bindert, and Donna Mullen for production assistance. And thanks again, of course, to Pete Benson and to Oscar Wilson for performing for us this afternoon. Thank you, Leslie. I'm Leslie Karras. Thanks for joining us, and stay tuned as DCB Jazz continues on 90.9 FM WDCB.